Mr. Bennell, Hearts Academy Technology Coordinator. I'm just going to do a little video on how to use the basics of uh, online Office Excel, so Microsoft Excel. So we're going to open a new tab. We're going to go to office.live.com. I'm already signed in. You'll just sign in with your school email address and password, and we get to this page of apps. I'm going to click on Excel. And it brings me to now. Here's a take a tour. You could actually take that, and there's some basics basics you could learn there. But we're going to go over the basic basics. So I'm just going to open a new sheet, and we're going to take a little tour of Excel. Excel is a spreadsheet. A spreadsheet is for doing calculations, organizing lists of things, um, just recording all kinds of different data. So, a couple of the things to notice is that along the top there are all these letters ABC goes on and on forever and then one through I think a million so you can have a very very large spreadsheet down here at the bottom we have uh, tabs we can have this is the called a worksheet you can have different tabs you can actually add worksheets to have different tabs my cat's upset behind me anyway um, so each cell has a number and a letter that goes with it. So, for example, this cell up in the corner is cell A1, and it says right here in this little window, A1. So this cell is B2, C3, C1, and so forth. So you can see the, the cell number is changing. I'm going to zoom in a little bit here so we can see a little bit better. Up at the top, we have a, uh, a bunch of uh, a ribbon with a bunch of tools, so you can change the formatting around. But uh, let's go over just a few things here. Um, you can do all sorts of different calculations. You can do numbers and calculations, but you can just type a word. Let's say we're going to put in um, uh, item cost number total. And we're going to pause for a second to take care of the cat. And we're back. Had to, The cat needed to have his own little place to be. So total and so let's say we're going to go buy a wrench. The cost is going to be um, $5.25. I'm going to have three of them. And the total is going to be now. Here's where it gets interesting. Um, this up here, these are called column headers. They're the, the names of different things. And once you have column headers, you can sort stuff. Like say, say a wrench and a hammer. And the hammer is going to be $45, just for fun, $45.25. And I'm going to get 15 of them. And we're still looking at, looking at that total. So these are dollars. So I can go over here to this little item right here and just click on that and change it to, oh, did I say U.S. dollars? No, United States dollars right there. So now these are actually numbers that are that the system thinks are dollars, and it formats them accordingly. So we have these items here this is what it is this is how much it costs this is the number of them total now you think total well, i could just go three times 525 and that would work but that's just a number to excel if you want to have a formula you actually use the equals key and then i could put three times 525 whoop 25 and that would give me a total there's the total right there but then if I change the number, uh, nothing happens. So that's not the, the Excel way to do things. What I'm going to do is going to equals, and I want to take 525, so I'll just click on the cell. In the, in the formula, you get the cell reference, and the cell reference gets highlighted, a little, uh, little animated line. And then I'm going to put my operation multiply in, and then I click on the other cell. So now I have B2 times C2, and I hit Enter. And 1575. But the thing about a formula that references cells is if I change the number to 5, the total automatically recalculates. So that's kind of a cool feature of Excel. Now the next step is I want to do the same thing. Okay, I'll take equals this cell times this cell. I'm using the arrow keys. It's much faster. And hit enter. And that gives you the, me the total. And it's also, it will recalculate as I change the number there. Okay, and let's say I want to put in screen door. And I want to put the screen door is going to say, let's say that's 5723. 23. 
and I'll put two of those, three of those in. And now rather than doing the, set, the, the formula again, I can copy this cell and paste it here and it pastes the formula but you can tell right here up here in this this little window this little area it shows the formula in the cell so if you click on a cell up here it says what's in the cell because what's in this cell is not a number what's in this cell is a formula and we see the number all right and also notice that this we need to change that to dollars so this is just kind of a a little introduction to excel now let's say you want to sort this information right I want and I want to sort it by by the value let's see that's already sorted that way so I want to sort by the name of the item so I'm going to go up here to data and click on sort where's my sort button sort ascending as you click on that and it sorts now hammer is first screen door is second wrench is third I can also you now I notice that screen door is you know the cell's not long enough. I can go up here, my my mouse, my cursor becomes a double arrow, and I can stretch this out to get that to be the right size. I can also right click in this column header, click on column width, and uh, oops, it doesn't have you see there in on the live or the uh, desktop version there's an auto width here, so it'll it'll format to exactly the right width. But I see that that feature is missing on online Excel. So there's some some features that the full program has that the this one doesn't. So that's one of them. All right. You you can um, now I'm going to make my my header row. I can make that look a little different. So I'll go back to home, and you can format these cells to make them look better. And so I'll take this and I'll make the background a darker color, and make the text a lighter color. Let's see, I kind of like blue and yellow. And you can also put lines around the form. Because you printed this out, it would there would be just blank areas, so I'm going to put the borders in. These light gray borders won't print. They're, they're just there for your reference making the sheet. Um, you'd have to do something like this to make the borders print. Now the other one is, let's say I want to, now I, I want to figure out how much I'm going to spend. So I'm going to total all this up. I could go equals, let's see, this plus this plus this, and I would get a total. That would work. But what's better now, let's say my, my column of items is like 50 items long. That's going to take forever. So Excel has a formula equals sum, and I put a parentheses in, and I just drag my mouse over these items. And I get this thing says D2 colon D4. That's the Excel saying, okay, take everything in that column between those two cells and add it together. There are all sorts of, of now if I copy this to this next cell over here, it gives, whoops, control V. So there's a little, another little interruption there. We'll, we'll get this guy down. So basically that's it. The things to remember in Excel. Columns are referenced by letters. Rows are referenced by numbers. If you want to reference a specific cell, which is one of these boxes, so whatever I click my mouse, that, that highlighted cell is the active cell and it's represented by the highlighted letter and number and this over here it's, it gives you the the um the cell right here the cell reference um you can highlight a number a column you can do all these different things the power of excel though is in the calculations the the live updating calculations where if i wanted to update this to 10 it would automatically update both the total here the formula and the total here so this is, these are some of the, the very basics of Excel. Cells, rows, columns. And now the, the last little bit is in Excel land, this is a word, this is a number, this is a number. Um, if you want to have uh, something other, you know, the, you, you're gonna reformat each of these cells and you can actually, there's a place to reformat, we'll get that later. Um, reformat each of these cells to represent something. Because you could have the, a cell be a date. Um, and 
it would calculate differently because a date is not an is a, is a weird number and excel treats it differently but the basics are and you can format these to be numbers you can for, format them to be dollars you can format percentages you can move the decimal points around but the basics are columns rows references so wherever your active cell is right now my active cell is c4 let's make it c d4 and see that there's a formula and it's not a number so right here that's a number it's not a formula this is a number i mean this is a formula so what's being displayed 2625 is not the contents of that cell the contents of that cell is this formula and this formula when calculated out shows 2625 all right, so there's some, some very basics about Excel online. Columns, rows, numbers, calculations, the formulas, and all the, there's all sorts of different formulas you can do. So there you go, some, some very basics about Excel. And scene.